Hey, this is Pastor Fish on this week's Weekly Word. Happy to have all of you with us. Uh, I want to start out uh, by sharing about this week's Gospel. We have Jesus challenging us to think about money. And I don't think Jesus is talking in generality here because Jesus talks a lot about money. More than anything else in the Gospel, Jesus talks about money. Because he knew, like then and now, that we struggle with our relationship with money. And Jesus gives us that teaching that we cannot serve God and money. I wonder why we're so uncomfortable talking about money in the church. Because money isn't bad. In and of itself, money is good. When money comes together to do work uh, for the betterment of the community, that is awesome. When you see people coming together and giving to a cause, it's incredible. And so why is the church so scared to talk about money? And I want us to talk about that because really Jesus doesn't say money is evil. Money isn't dirty. It's okay for church to invest money, to think about how we're spending our money. That's a good thing. That's a spiritual practice is to think about how we as people of God, how we as church are using our money to better our communities. Yes, our relationship with money needs to be one that is influenced by our faith. And when we just put it aside and say it's just the business of the church, it's not important or it's evil, then we forget and we put money in a different aspect of life. And really, the church has a voice in every aspect of our lives, and that includes how we use and how we view money. Join us this Sunday to hear more about that. And I ask, you know, if you have any personal questions about this, uh, that I'm open to conversation because these are the things that really um, get me excited um, that we as a church are thinking differently um, and we're thinking differently how we approach uh, money and how we approach generosity from a place of abundance as opposed to fear and, and scarcity. So join us this Sunday for that. I want to talk about uh, something I'm really excited about offering uh, this Saturday. We're having a member from Prairie Woods come this Saturday for a spiritual renewal retreat. How often we are tired or we're doing stuff just because we think we have to. And so we have a lot of volunteers in this congregation. It's wonderful. And I'm hoping that all of us are coming from a place of joy and all of us are coming from a place of fullness as opposed to emptiness. And reality is life happens and we're tired and we need to have some spiritual practices and some conversation on why we do the things that we do. And I believe this retreat is gonna do just that. And so I pray you come this Saturday from nine to 12 uh, here at the church and it's free. For, and you know these you know retreats usually cost a uh, pretty dime, uh, but we're offering it to any and all people who volunteer. Uh, really, if you have friends, family, or neighbors or coworkers that would be interested, invite them. You know it's a great way to uh, get connected uh, to, to Christ and, and learn about how we stay connected with Christ throughout our weeks. Um, so join us this Saturday for that. I want to draw your attention to that. The next thing I want to discuss is prayer. And I was at a training uh, here this morning, this afternoon, and it was a very interesting conversation around prayer. And the speaker challenged me a little bit because he said, you know, prayer is not about praying for the daily stresses in our lives. Prayer is about being bold. It's for the shapers and the builders. It's for thinking about the ways in which God is calling us to bring in new people to the work site. That's a neat idea, and I, I, I must admit it's challenging to me because it's a different way of thinking about prayer. And so um, when we pray today, think about being prayer as something we do as creative people, as people who are thinking about how we build and how we shape our community and in our lives. We're continuing to pray as a congregation always, and uh, we're centered on prayer. And I want to pray the next two, uh, 10 prayers uh, that are from our index cards for outdoor worship, and they are as follows. This person prays for peace and comfort for Evelyn Neal. This person prays for safety from storms and that people live with peace, love, and respect. This person prays for our service men and women who are in harm's way, and we're so thankful for them. We pray for the violence in our own community that it may be come to an end. This person prays for patience. 
This person prays that your peace may surround our whole world and every nation. This person lifts up and prays for those who are oppressed. This person prays for Leela Nelson. This person prays for all those living in fear that hope and not hatred fill their heart. This person prays for health and happiness for all in our congregation. And our last prayer is for Susan Carnes. We pray all these things knowing that God answers, knowing that God is shaping us and building us up as his church in the world. Thanks so much for joining us and have a wonderful week.